hi guys hi everyone welcome back to sherry approved and i hope that my last video was helpful to you guys in terms of talking about how our hormones affect our skin at different points in time of our menstrual cycle so as promised today's video i'm going to talk about um the things that i do to minimize breakouts um close to my period or around my period based on my knowledge and things that I've tried and I've been experimenting um, with regards to the changes that happen in my skin. So let's go. So first of all, I have to say that this didn't happen overnight. Um, I have had acne prone skin with a lot of breakouts and so on from since my teenage years. It persisted through my 20s. It's actually only in my 30s that I actually really got a handle on it. And I was doing facials all the time, which don't get me wrong. Facials were very, very important. In fact, the very few times that I skipped a facial, my skin would have been in even more of a mess. So facials were really, really important for me to maintain my skin and still is um but in terms of my home care for for years like i don't know 20 years or something it was really just cleanse stone moisturize that i was doing it was really only in my 30s the last couple of years that i really um looked into my skincare and developed a more extensive skincare routine understanding what is happening to my skin and therefore made changes and so on but while i was doing that and i started to understand how hormones affect my skin um, and because I do get hormonal breakouts, I started to treat my skin a bit differently, especially last year. And I have seen like a huge, huge improvement in terms of the amount of breakouts I get. In fact, there are some months now I will go through my period and I don't get any breakouts at all. Some months I will get and the ones that I get are very, very small. So I know that it's working for me. Um, like I said, so this is what I do. Um, so I hope that it's going to be helpful for you. And I will just share with you, um, a couple of tips that I realized. Okay. So uh, again, I'm going to focus on what I do, um, primarily in the last two weeks of my cycle. That'll be the two weeks just before my period, um, to help to minimize breakouts by the time my period gets there. So if you remember, um, in the last video, I did talk about that from the time we get to mid cycle, progesterone starts to take over and therefore it triggers extra sebum production. And then, of course, in the last week of our period, that's when progesterone and so on tapers off. Testosterone is there, which adds a little bit more sebum. So one of the key things is that our pores, um, is, is collecting more oil and therefore it will attract more dirt, more dirt and so on. Therefore, if you're not keeping your pores clean, it is going to provide the best environment for um, the acne bacteria and so on, and therefore for you to have breakouts, right? So keep that in mind, and that's going to be very, very critical. Now, um, my skincare in terms of how I cleanse and so on does not change um, because I am very, very consistent with that throughout the month. I believe in double cleansing. I double cleanse every day in the evening, whether I've worn makeup or not, because the clean double cleansing helps to break down SPF and all that. But I'll address first what I do different in my morning skincare routine. Then I'll tell you what I do my night and then a couple of things that I also do. So my morning skincare routine from the time I get, I just pass mid cycle. Um, one of the things that I do, I have mentioned this before because I, I started to use this product a lot more, um, when I had just had the baby because I didn't have that much time to spend on my skin. So I was looking like for quick products. So I, I had this all the time in my skincare routine. Um, but this is the skin food black sugar splash mask. And this is a very, this is, um, basically something that you put on your skin it has a little bit of acids on it. Very, very low percentage. So that's why it's good for giving you the effect of acids over a longer period of time. And I realized that the longer this has been in my routine, the more I need it. Like if I stop using it, I will see a difference. So the last two weeks, especially of my skincare routine at my, my cycle every morning, I use this every other morning and the week before my period, I use this every morning. So after I cleanse my face in the shower, I will splash this on, rub it into my skin, leave it for 15, 20 seconds, and then I will rinse. So this will give me very, very light exfoliation. And that's important because those acids are what helps to break down the sebum and the build up in the pores. So if there's anything in the morning, that helps to get rid of it. I will do my skincare routine like usual. I always use a vitamin C serum and all that. But where I really have, have the impact in my morning skincare routine, the two weeks just before my period, is with these two products. And these two products will go in my essence step or right after my toner. Now, 
four years i used the eva naturals vitamin c the skin clearance serum and that was i made a huge difference to me because my breakouts are way under control I, I keep saying this all the time that's why i could venture into other vitamin c's and use l-ascorbic acid and stuff um other type of vitamin c's are not necessarily eva naturals um and that's why if it is for some reason for a particular month, I feel like, oh God, my skin just going crazy. I will literally bring that back in because the Eva Naturals vitamin C does have some salicylic acid, does have some niacinamide, which is right. It's really good for people who are oily and acne prone to be using all the way, th all the way through the month, right? Um, So I will only bring that in if I'm having an issue like a it's a little bit more. But in general, this is what I do. So I keep using my regular vitamin C and so on. But after I tone my skin, these are the two products that I use. So the first one is the, the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampule. I reviewed this more than a year ago. And this is how you know when something is really a holy grail item. It remains in my skincare routine. And in fact, I like to say I pull this out when my skin decides to play mad. Like literally if it's deciding to go crazy. Um, this has, this is 100% Centella Asiatica extract and Centella is amazing for calming the skin and for inflammation. So in my case, I use it for acne, but for people who have other skin issues that are because of skin inflammation and so on, like um, forms of dermatitis or rosacea, psoriasis and so on, this has helped a lot of people. In fact, the packaging is new. It has changed and I, I still have it because I think this is probably my third bottle. A little bit goes a long way and this is very, very liquidy it is very concentrated so i will just pat you know take some of this and pat it into my skin and i will use this daily from the time i pass my mid cycle once that is absorbed into my skin then i will apply this and i recently i started using this back again the last couple months and i realized how much i miss it in my skincare routine this is the cosrx 2-in-1 poreless power liquid now um one of the things that this this grabs attention for is because um they say pores so people are like oh my god it's gonna help my pores yes the reason why is because this actually has bha bha is essentially salicylic acid it is not very very strong so that's why i could use it on a daily and i use it in my morning routine you could actually use this with a cotton pad even as a toner but i like to just pump a couple put a couple cup put a a couple of pumps in my hand and I will press it into my skin after the centella and I go through it my morning skincare routine as usual so those two products I start using every single day um from the time I get to week three of my cycle and has make, made a big difference now where I put all my real actives is in my nighttime skincare routine so um from the time I get to mid-cycle again is where things get changed up a little bit now right through I will be using I I have glycolic acid in my skincare routine all the way through the month um whether it is a toner or a serum and so on but um I focus the glycolic acid serum I particularly because they buy her one I will use that a lot in week three of my cycle meaning I will use it probably every other night or well three times per week i will use that and top it of course with a hydrating serum um the last week um is when i use these two right especially these two now um for those of you who don't know so this is the cause they buy her retinol and this is the cause they buy her salicylic acid right now these two are actives they are pretty pretty strong for those of you who don't know retinol now is very very popular for treating wrinkles and as an anti-aging ingredient um i'm not sure if you know that before all of that retinol was actually used to treat acne because it is an effective acne treatment in treating acne a lot of patients would have been telling their dermatologists that they noticed that their skin in terms of wrinkles and so on were improving and therefore retinol started to have this extra use or this alternative use and that's why it's in so many products and people always want to have retinol serum when you're talking about anti-aging so um in the last week that week just before my period i will be literally alternating these two so one night i will be using retinol on my skin and the other night salicylic when i am putting on the salicylic acid though i am concentrating it on this area because my my breakouts are hormonal and i do get it generally in the jawline area sometimes a little bit on the cheeks but primarily in this area is where i have the most congestion and so on so that's where i will get a lot of the breakouts so i will use these two i will alternate them now like i said these two are strong and this is just a little bit of a tip for um a lot of you who 
probably may have you know you saw you seen my cost but have video you went to the purchase products you don't know how to use it or perhaps you find it a little bit strong one of the ways that i am able to use stronger products get the effect and not cause any extra drying or dryness on my skin and so on is because i make sure and i layer my essences really well before i go in with the actives so my skin is really hydrated and has that extra buffer layer and then of course after my actives i also go on top of the hydrating serum i will also make sure and moisturize my skin really really good because one of the side effects of retinol is that it could also dry out the skin right so that's why you want to make sure don't just use it and be like oh my god this is totally dry on my skin you have to be careful i could use it the way that i'm using it meaning alternating every other night because my skin has gotten to that place if your skin is not there you need to start like you know with with um uh weaker strengths and less frequently but this is what has been working and has been working amazingly so i'm not going to necessarily wait for breakouts to come i'm treating it one time because i know my skin is already prone something that i should also say is that in week three i also use the salicylic acid every other night so from week three and week four i'm using salicylic acid every other night in that area just focusing it there because salicylic acid what makes it different from glycolic and lactic acid and so on is salicylic acid is is oil soluble bhas are oil soluble so they are able to really penetrate deeper into the pore to get to where it needs to do what it has to do for your skin okay so i will use these two these two has been you know what i use especially last week um but like i said i will be using my glycolic acid serum all the way through the month um but then in the last week i i pull out that serum and i focus on using these two what i do to get my glycolic acid and beside using the splash mask in the morning is that i will use a glycolic acid toner but i will use it on the nights that i'm using my salicylic acid serum so whether you have pixie or i have this one which is a little bit stronger this is the cause de baja um aha bha facial toner so i will use this toner on the nights that i'm using my salicylic acid in my in week three of sorry week four of my cycle so that's the week just before my period i know i'm saying a lot and you guys gonna have to like look at this video again or take notes and so on because i'm sharing really um a lot of information in terms of what i do and what works for me and let me just say like although i said that i will top those serums with something hydrating and moisturize well um i would not put another active um so i wouldn't go on top there with another acid or something like that i will make sure i use something hydrating like my ginseng serum the one that i've been loving from the plant-based um like a sera ceramide serum things like that a rice based serum i will uh, a peptide serum those are the things i will put on top of the retinol the salicylic acid and then moisturize properly so something is happening there remember your skin is going to be producing extra sebum so i'm treating the breakouts and so on but i'm also making sure i moisturize really really well to kind of allow my skin to not trigger extra sebum production because of being dehydrated so i'm doing both right and therefore it's really in that last week of my my just before my period that i really bring out my facial oils so jojoba oil um lin linoleic based oils in general like even in primrose and so on facial oils that has those type of ingredients especially for us oily girls acne prone skin is really good in that last week so i will use one of this a couple drops into my moisturizer every other night especially my last week just to lock in and seal in that moisture and it has been working for me um so very very quickly now i need to tell you about the tools and the masks that i use as well okay so um i'm not going to go into detail because i've mentioned these before but again in the first two weeks of my period because i, I focus a lot more on hydration and using vitamin c i may do um uh, maybe like the aha 30 percent peel during that time but when i come to week three and week four while i am having my hydrating mask that's when i bring in my volcanic muds and my clay based mask and so on so um i'm just going to show you because i've spoken about these before you all saw this in the video where i did my nighttime skincare routine um this is an absolute favorite of mine this is the matcha green tea mask you all see like i'm scraping the edges there so i will use this um maybe once or twice per week depending on what else i'm using um then another one that i use is the berry moon charcoal mask i've been using these things for a long long time um and they will just absorb any ex excess oil but deep clean my pores as well without being dehydrated on my skin i also use this one a lot this is from sephora this is their hemp mousse mask and i like this because on the days when i i can't leave a mask on for 
15, 10, 15 minutes. This is a five minute mask. It works great. And I love to travel with this one as well. And it's especially in week three and week four of my period is when if I'm going to do a sheet mask, I will use this one. And I have been loving it. This is the Mediheal Tea Tree um, Mask. This has a little bit of salicylic acid, a little bit of niacinamide. It's very hydrating, soothing on the skin. But while I'm giving my skin that little bit of an extra boost, I'm also giving a little bit of an extra treatment. So I hope you see now what is happening is that I'm layering my ingredients in a way that treats but also does not dehydrate my skin. I'm making sure that I'm moisturized really, really well. And we've come to um ah something that i forgot especially in week four which is the week just before your period sometimes i don't know how many of you may um feel like because of that sebum buildup that your skin feels a little bit more waxy if i feel that happens and that doesn't happen very very often that's when i will really bring in now an extra exfoliator so that will be my physical exfoliator i hardly use physical exfoliation guys hardly i have a favorite which is the skin food um black sugar scrub that i've shown you all before this is my favorite physical exfoliator and i don't even you have to use this very very often because the texture and the buildup on my skin is way more controlled now that i have i have acids very consistently in my skincare routine but if for some reason my skin has extra buildup or it feels a little bit waxy i will use this not more than twice in that last week um just before my period and again that helps as well so finally, um, I just have to let you know about a tool that I have been using as well. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. Um, so, um, especially for the buildup, like, okay, like I said, I, because the, I, I'm my breakouts and so on are concentrated in this area. I, I usually get white heads here, um, then around my nose. And we know that in general, the sebum and so on, and it did builds up in the nose area and that kind of thing, right? So, there is the acne extraction tool that a lot of people buy. I have it as well, but I find that if you don't know how to use these things properly, I do not recommend that you try it on your own because you can damage your skin. Um, sometimes you put too much pressure, you could actually cut your skin and create more problems. So that's why I'm usually a little bit hesitant to talk about that on social media because I'm trying to be responsible as well because I know that a lot of you, you know, pay attention to what I'm saying. Then you might run out and want to buy and try and I don't want you to damage your skin. So I like to leave extractions for the professionals and honestly, I leave my extractions for when I go for my facial. However, there's a tool that I discovered that I found to be a little bit more gentle and very effective and I have been using especially for any extra buildup um, in my skin. It has made the waves though on social media on youtube and so on for a while i was ignoring it but it's something called a skin scrubber or a skin spatula there are so many they are like really really expensive ones 150 us and so on but then you can get like i'm guessing a really good affordable one for maybe 30 40 us i think mine was like 40 or 40 something us so this is what it looks like i don't know how many you have seen these on around and videos and so on but i have been using this in my skincare routine for i would say maybe about six or seven months now um and it's interesting because you know that i love my clarisonic and and so on because they are sonic cleansing devices and the sonic part of that whole concept is because they send pulses into the skin that basically dislodge the dirt and so on and cause it to be more easily removed this is also a sonic device now let me put it on you're gonna hear how it's gonna sound so you hear that sound right and this particular device has three modes i'll take it off now um it has a cleansing mode a moisturizing mode and a lifting mode so the mode that i use mostly is the cleansing mode and that's the mode to literally get the stuff out so what i will do is i will give myself an at home steam literally just either you have a facial steamer or you just literally use a bowl of hot water put your face or over just let um that steam loosen up literally anything that might be in your pores after i cleanse and so on or i take a warm towel and i just put it over my face and leave it for a few minutes and then you have to wet your face you missed your face and so on um and then you use the, this device if you all want a video on this because this kind of gross like kind of gross i will do it but literally use this side and you take your time very very slowly to allow the sonic pulses to dislodge whatever and then it will bring up anything that's at the surface i like especially using this on my chin area and around my nose so it takes out anything extra and again 
that has made a difference because what the real reason, one of the real things why you get those extra breakouts is because the buildup is extra during those last two weeks just before your period guys i know this video was extremely long but i hope you are, you you look at it i hope you're able to go back over it and that it is useful for you but this is in general really a snapshot of what i do to treat my skin to minimize my breakouts and it has been making a world of a difference do you have any tips that you would like to share with me or what works for you what have you realized really really works for you share it below and i will be happy to have a discussion or interaction with you guys i see you guys another video take care bye